Pato, yes. Are you ready? Ready for what? Ah, you forgotten. What is there now? Sitam chat is almost online. Oh, the lesson, the, yeah, the lesson. It's almost nine. Oh, so where are we going to watch it now? Ah, uh, I'm thinking mm -hmm. at Tuzo's place. No, 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 no. We what? can't go there. Why? I don't want to go there at all. But Tuzo is our friend. I know. Then but what is the problem? They have a dog. Are you scared of dogs nowadays? That dog chased me. What do you mean chased you? You know, yeah. one day I was walking and I came by the gate, uh -huh. but the gate was open. And then? The dog came out and chased me. No way. But you could have run very far than the dog. But I ran so fast. I even, I even fell down oh. and hurt my leg. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> you're not my friend. No. Okay, I'm, friend. I'm sorry. I'm if not laughing anymore. If you laugh anymore. at me anymore, you're not my friend anymore. I'm not laughing. Okay. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Today, mm -hmm. I'm going with you. What? I'll protect you from the dog. Are you sure? Very sure. But that dog is big. No, the dog is my friend. You know, in our house, mm -hmm. in our place, mm -hmm. we have a dog. <gasps> and I know how to make dogs my friend. Are you but sure? But don't worry. Are you sure you protect me? I'll protect you. But, Are you doubting me? But it has big teeth, a big mouth. It can chase me again. Don't worry about that. I'm here for you. Okay, but I'll stand behind you. Yeah. And then you can protect me. Of course. But what? What if I get scared just a little bit? No. Do you know God is there for you? Mm -hmm. And God always protects his children. Does he? He does. So, God will use me to protect you. Wow. Anytime you feel scared, remember God is there watching over you and he'll protect you. But do you know, yeah? my mommy and daddy say uh -huh. that if I pray every day, yeah. God will protect me. Yes, God will make a way. When you feel scared, when you're frightened, maybe when you're sleeping and there's darkness. <laughs> God is there watching over you. Oh. He protects his children. You know what? Yeah? I'm not scared anymore. If you protect me, let's go. Because it does. Know, it's nearly nine o'clock. By the way, let's run. Let's go. Let's Bye. go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. This way, this way. Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Sam. I am from Sitam, Karen. And I'm very, very happy to see you today. Welcome to our lesson today. We want to start with a word of prayer. Shall we pray? Let's put our hands together. Let's close our eyes. And let's bow down for a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your protection. And thank you for loving us. As we go through the lesson today, we pray for your protection and for your guidance. Help us all learn about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you remember the memory verse? Boys and girls, do you remember uh, the, uh, the song that we, we sang? Yes, I can see some of you remember. Can you share with your brother, your sister, your mommy, or your, your daddy, or your auntie around you? Are you sharing? Yes. Now, I want us to look at the picture that will be shown on the screen. Can you see the picture? The picture is, can you see a boy and a girl there? What are they doing? Let's ask our friends to tell us what the, the boy and the girl is doing in the picture. Wow. wow. We can see a boy and a girl praying. They're on their knees. Yeah, wow. that's wonderful. Wow. And, uh, Pato, yes? let me ask you, yes? uh, are you still praying for your bike? You know what? We have given up. What do you mean I've you've given up? I've been praying and praying and praying and praying and praying, but I don't see my bicycle. Come on, Pato. Yes. What does the Bible say? We are being told in the Bible not to give up in prayer. But I've tried. Keep on praying. You have to keep on praying every other day. But every I... day keep on praying. You know what? What? You had a story. Yeah. 
You remember I told you I want to be like Messi? Yes. The best footballer in the whole world. Wow. Do you know what I wanted? What did you want? A football. Wow. So I, I was praying for it mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. Praying for it. Mm -hmm. Asking daddy. Praying for it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Mm -hmm. One day, what? on my birthday, what? I got the biggest surprise. What was it? He bought me a football. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. Because I never gave up in prayer. So, mm -hmm. are you saying I keep on praying, but I'm so tired? Pato, mm -hmm. don't say that. If you need something, mm -hmm. don't say you are tired. You keep on praying mm -hmm. every day. In the morning when you wake up, you pray. Mm -hmm. At night before you go to bed, you pray about it. And God will answer your prayers. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I always see uh -huh. my mom and daddy praying every day. Exactly. You should also pray with them. And remember, mm -hmm. pray not only for the bike, mm -hmm. pray for your life. Okay. Pray for your family. Wow. Pray for your friends wow. every day. Okay. I'll go and try mm -hmm. and I pray. I hope I don't give up again. But no. I'm going to continue and I hope that God will hear my prayers. Okay? Of course. God is loving. He will hear your prayers and answer your prayers. Okay. And remember you know what? You pray starting today. Okay. Okay. Roba, see you. Let me go and pray and See, and make sure even you pray for everybody, even for these children here. We have to pray for them. I'll remember you in prayers, okay? Okay, bye-bye. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Pato, bye. 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 Thank you, our friends, for helping us with the picture. Yes, the boy and the girl were praying in the picture. Do we pray? Boys and girls, do you pray? How many of us pray? And what do we pray about? Do we pray for ourselves? Do we pray for our mommies and our daddies or our sisters and our brothers or our friends? Do we pray for them? Do we pray for the sick? Now, boys and girls, today we are talking about prayer. And that's what we are talking about today. We are talking about what, boys and girls? Prayer. And prayer is talking to God. When we pray, we are talking to God. So, as we pray, God hears our prayers and he answers us, even if it takes long. But he hears us and he answers us. He loves when we pray to him. And boys and girls, you know what? You can pray anytime you want. You can pray anywhere you want. And you can ask God anything that you want. And God will hear your prayers and he will answer your prayers. Now today we are going to learn about from the, the word of God, the Bible, the story that Jesus gave about a judge. And this judge was not very good. And a widow who had a problem and he wanted the problem to be sorted out by the judge. Now, in this, in this story, Jesus told this story so that he can show us that when we pray, we should not give up praying. We should always continuously pray. Now, in this story, boys and girls that we talked about, there was a judge, and this judge was not a very good judge. Now, this judge made God very, very sad, boys and girls. And it's not good to make God very sad. So this judge, and then this widow, boys and girls, had a problem. And he used to go to the judge because the judge was the only one who could help the widow. Now the widow would go to the judge every time. The widow going to the judge. And this would happen many, many, many days, many times, until... This judge got very tired of seeing the widow and he had nothing to do but to help the widow with what the, widow, with what the problem the widow had. Now, boys and girls, if we continue praying to God every day 
And God is not like the, this judge that was bad. God, our God, is a very good God. He's our Father. He hears us when we pray. Now, if the bad judge can get tired, how much more would God, who loves us, and who loves to hear about us, hear our prayers and answer us? Boys and girls, do you see that? That God is able to answer our prayers and our God is a good God. He hears and answers our prayers. So boys and girls, this is what I want you to do every day. You pray every day. Pray for your mommy. Pray for your daddy. Pray for your friends. Even pray for your neighbors. Pray for the people who are sick. And God will hear because he loves when we, we pray to him. And he's very happy. God smiles when he's up in heaven. He smiles when he hears us praying. So we should continue to pray. Even if things are not happening, we should continue doing what? Praying every day. Pray every day. Do not forget to pray. When you wake up, when you're, before you eat, before you sleep, before you play, any time you have, anywhere, just talk to God. And God will answer your prayers. Now, boys and girls, I want us to uh, watch a, a clip that will tell us about the story that we have just learned. Hi, I am Fredos. I live in this library inside these books, and I love to hang out with my best friends, Tubby and Gumbo. And we all go to Holy, the oldest and the wisest bookworm of the library, to listen to stories from the Bible. She lives inside the great book, and she's always sleeping. I wonder where Tubby and Gumbo are today. Gumbo! Tubby? Where are you? Come on, it's story time! What a friend we have in Jesus All our sins and grief to bear What a privilege to carry Everything to God in prayer I have already thought about the story that I am going to tell you today And I have thought about the question too Wow, that is great, Holy! Please go on! Okay, okay, calm down. Today's story is about an unjust judge. Jesus used to go to many different places to spread the message of God. He would often tell his followers a lot of different incidents and stories to teach them about the love of God. One day, long ago, Jesus once told his disciples to teach the people never to lose hope while praying to God. He said, there was once a judge who was rude, harsh, and hard-hearted. He did not at all care for the problems of the poor and those who suffered. He was only interested in taking money from the rich and not at all concerned about the poor and their problems because they could not pay him. One day, a very poor widow was cheated by a bad man. She wanted justice for herself, so she went to the judge. She was so poor that she could not give him the money that he wanted. But the widow did not give up hope. She pleaded to the judge to punish the bad man who had cheated her. When he refused, she pestered him day and night till he finally agreed to give her what she wanted. Jesus said, The moral of the story is that we must never lose heart while praying as the unjust judge finally gave him to the pleas of the poor widow. Likewise, the Lord who loves his children more than anything may take time, but will always give so much more than is asked. So, did you like today's story? What did you learn from it? Sure we did. We learned... Mm, the moral of the story is that we should go on praying to God without losing hope. Very good, Tubby. I hope you will all remember this. But Holy, what is today's question? Today's question is, who did not want to help the widow woman at first? The unfair judge! He was so selfish! Excellent! Now go on and come back tomorrow. Let me sleep and don't be naughty! What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry, 
we see that God loves to hear when we pray. And when we pray, we should not give up. We should not get tired. We should continue praying. We should do what? Continue praying until God answers our prayer. So do you promise boys and girls to pray? What will you pray for? Are you praying right now? So I pray that you'll be able to pray every day and you can ask your mommy or your daddy to help you pray if you get tired. Please ask them to pray for you every day and also for you to pray every day. Now our memory verse today comes from the Bible. It comes from what? The Bible in the book of Matthew. Everyone say Matthew. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. We said Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. And the Bible says, Ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. That is from Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Let's say it again. Matthew chapter 7 verse The Bible says Ask and it will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Now today we also want to pray because we have learned about prayer and so we have to pray. So we want to pray first for the children, the boys and girls who do not know Jesus, who have not invited Jesus in their heart. So if you know you have not invited Jesus in your heart and Jesus is not your friend, I would like you to say this prayer after me, boys and girls. Let's pray. Let's put our hands together. Let's close our eyes. Let's pray. You pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I invite you in my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now that you've prayed that prayer, boys and girls, you have Jesus in your heart. I would like you to tell your friends that you have Jesus in your heart. Thank you for doing that prayer. Let's pray, boys and girls. Dear Lord, thank you for teaching us in this lesson. Help the children at home pray more and more and help them to believe that you can help them pray and you may answer their prayers. Help the children in the, wo in the world to pray as we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, boys and girls, we have prayed and we know that you're also going to pray at home. And as you pray, continue reading the word of God and praying every day without giving up. And now we'll listen to the song as we come to the end of our lesson. See you next time. Bye. Stupid.